Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're well, and let's continue with Laravel Valley. We'll do another Valley list to show up our commands. Let's take a look at which version of PHP we're currently running right now. So if I say PHP-V, you can see that I'm running 8.15. Now, here's where that use command comes in. I could type in Valet, and I wanna use a specific version of PHP. And in this case, I could say PHP 7.4. Now, if you don't have this installed, right? If I click this button and I run this, it will unlink the current version of PHP that I have, and it will link to the new version that I selected that I want to use. Now, if you haven't installed, you know, PHP 7.4 on your platform, it will do so via homebrew. So be sure to check that video out again, guys. It's uh, really important if you want to follow along for this step. Okay, so now it says I may need to run a global update if my PHP version changes or affects any dependencies and local packages required by Composer. So that is key. So let's just say I do a PHP V and it's, you know, it switched out to the version that I'm looking for. If I say Valley open, and I know there's a project that starts with, uh, you know, PHP 7.4 and it's my app and there it is. I'm able to see it. Now, the reason I'm able to see this the way it is, because if I check, I use the command Valley isolated, right? It'll tell you that the projects that I've isolated that I've specifically said, hey, Valet, use a set version of PHP, right? And to do so, to isolate a project, let's just PWD, I'm in code. I'm gonna CD dot dot, I'm gonna go up directory, I'm gonna CD back into uh, projects, okay? And this could be totally different workflow than you have, but just, you know, um, just so you get the overall concept. And I'm here inside of projects, and I want to use Valet to isolate Actually, before I do that, let's just list what's here. Okay, I'm gonna isolate fundamentals because we've already isolated these two. I'm gonna isolate fundamentals to version 8.1. I check my current working directory, I'm gonna CD into fundamentals, okay? And once I'm inside this, I'm going to use the command valet isolate, okay? So, interesting. This doesn't work because it says, please specify the version um, that I would like to use. So we have to say valet isolate, and I would like to use PHP at 8.1. This will update my configuration and it'll restart Nginx and PHP. I should see that the code.fundamental project is now using PHP 8.1. So if I type in valet isolated, it's been isolated here. If I go valet list, and if I wanna unisolate, like stop customizing a version of PHP, the command is unisolate, and that's valet unisolate. Now, when you run this command, I believe you have to be in the current working directory. I'm gonna type in unisolate, it'll stop the version, and if we do one more time of valet isolated, we can see that's been removed, okay? So that's how you isolate versions and projects that you want to use to a specific version of PHP. So if you have like old legacy projects or something that you're using, first you'll have to install the version of PHP to your platform. And once that's installed, you'd have to switch. So use Valet uh, Use to check what version of PHP you have going on, right? I'm at, right now I'm at 7.4, but if I was to say Valet Use, um, Actually, you know what? Let's just test this. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna go right in here. We're gonna test this. I'm gonna say valet open. I'm open fundamentals. Okay. Let's just do that. Now this is perfect. So we know that valet fundamentals did work before, but since we switched to the version of PHP, which was 7.4, um, anything that requires 8.02 or higher it just won't work, right? You have to go in there and configure your platform check and. If you don't know what that file is, it's basically, it checks to see what version of PHP um, you have installed on your projects and what dependencies need those things. And then it will like say, no, you don't meet the requirements and give you an error. We know that in order to use fundamentals, we need to have a version 8.0 or higher. So what if I go like this and I say valet use PHP and I set it to 8.0. Okay, I'll just change it to 8.0. So this project, when it's done, because it requires a minimum version of 8.0 or equal to, you know, 8.02, this should work. Notice that the version that the project is using is 8.0.18. So um, just be patient and wait for it to finish its thing. And if 
for some reason your project requires like some version of PHP like dependencies, do run this composer global update command, okay? So I'm gonna switch this back to valet use PHP and I'm on the latest version of PHP and I will do a follow-up video for you guys who are not on the latest version and how to update through Homebrew so you guys can get up to speed. And I'm gonna use at 8.1, okay? So we're just gonna switch that out. Okay, awesome, we're gonna clear this. So that's pretty much in a nutshell. I know we've covered a lot of things and I know this video is a little bit longer than I would like, but I feel like you need to understand a majority of these commands and some of the problems that you guys are having with Valet, uh, some of these things will help you resolve it. So I didn't do completion, composer, I did diagnosed, uh, directory listings, I'll do it another time. And the fetch share URL stuff, I will definitely do that. Um, it's changed a little bit around Ngrok and uh, you know there's different services you could use like Expose or whatever. But for now, um, help is pretty self-explanatory. We did install, isolate, link, links, list. We did all the time just to kind of, you know, show us how to uh, list all the commands. Uh, loopback we've kind of seen. So our loopback address for the valet is my local, which is 127.0. Um, on latest, we've done open parked paths. Uh, PHP proxies, we'll get into that a little bit different. It's kind of a, a different thing here. Um, and then proxies as well. Uh, we'll get into that. It's kind of another thing. And we've done restart, secure, secured, and share. That ties in with, you know, fetch share URL. And we'll get to that as well because that requires, you know, the ngrok uh, tunnel and that service. And then you can use something like expose. We've done stop, TLD, trust, uninstall, isolate, and unproxy we won't do. And we've done use and PHP. Which PHP? So I hope this helps, okay? So we'll close this up, just exit. And that's it for this one, guys. I will see you later, take care. So don't forget to like, subscribe, let me know your thoughts below, hit the notification bell. I will see you guys in the next one, take care, until next time.